And this is being treated as a homicide. For eight years, Isaiah Chapman made a name for himself as a professional MMA fighter. But in April of 2020, a man with a gun in Akron ended Chapman's promising career and his life. Today, the killer learned his punishment. Bob Jones was in the courtroom for this emotional sentencing. Loved ones say 30-year-old Isaiah Chapman was tough as nails and a fierce competitor as an MMA fighter. But away from the cage, he was humble, easygoing, and loving. <laughs> you really took my best friend. You know, people, somebody passed and they said that old person was good, but he really was good. He really was a good person. Isaiah was shot three times and killed in April of 2020 outside of a home on Reed Avenue in Akron. Christopher Blower pleaded guilty to aggravated murder, and prosecutors say he did it because of jealousy over a woman. Before Blower was sentenced, he heard from Isaiah's heartbroken family. I know my son is gone, and I know I can't never see him no more. I can't talk to him no more. Isaiah also leaves behind three children. Today, one of them, 13-year-old Faith Chapman, gave an emotional statement in the courtroom. The teen said her dad was nice, funny, and loved going to the movies. He also loved our father-daughter dates. One month before he died was our last one. There was never a moment daddy didn't want to be with us. Laura Martin, the mother of Isaiah's two daughters, said the girls witnessed part of the tragedy. Chris Blower, you know, not only took the father away, but you took the innocence of my daughters. Because of Chris, I will never get to see my dad again. Hug him or even just play a simple game with him. Today, Blower apologized and said he was strung out on drugs at the time of the killing. I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused to your family for what I have done. Moments later, Judge Allison McCarty sentenced Blower to 29 and a half years to life in prison. I don't believe you're a monster, Chris, but this was a monstrous act. An act that has crushed Isaiah's family. They say he'll be remembered, not just as an MMA fighter, but as a good man. He was such a good person. He wasn't a bully. He didn't go around flaunting who he was. I mean, he was just a really, 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 really good person. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. A drive-by shooting at a family gathering in Cleveland early this morning sent an 8-year-old to a local hospital. This happened just before 1 a.m. on Greenwich Avenue.